I think it becomes a bit more challenging when uh, so much of this has become with anonymous people online and fishing for who's a legitimate uh, potential terrorist and not. Because, of course, when you're on the internet, you're not really your full totality of yourself. You don't know who this person is on the other end of it either. There was uh, recently a very prominent ISIS account who had been referenced by a lot of people who focus on this issue, Australia Witness, who was supposed to be a very prolific Australian ISIS supporter, who turned out to be like a 20-year-old kid, a Jewish kid from Florida who's literally in his parents' basement. I think it's not really possible to stop it by just this whack-a-mole sort of uh, approach. There has to be a very fulsome and comprehensive approach, we can only st which can only start with either addressing the root causes of it, whichever these are determined to be, and sort of building trust, developing sources within these communities which trust you enough to come forward to you. So I don't think that, uh, I think unfortunately, 14 years after 9-11, the problem is metastasized, and it's become in such a way that there's nothing really that can be done if it really becomes very violent. This approach of trying to fish out every single individual will either result in many false positives or will just not be you know, comprehensive enough to stop every one of these legitimate people out there. Maybe you know, we, we can't prosecute our way out of this, right? Um, you know, I was talking about Shukri uh, Ali Amin Shukri, Shukri Amin Ali, I can't remember which one though. But 17-year-old kid, you know, I'm Riki Witness. I'm here to uh, extol to you the virtues of the coming caliphate on the American people. I'm Riki Witness is a tragic case. It's tragic. That's really the only word for it. The, the aggravating factor in his case was that he recruited another 18-year-old kid who did go to Syria. And, and I think he died. Did die? Um, so, so that's the problem with it, is that when you have those guys online preaching the ISIS message, trying to indoctrinate people, trying to recruit people, getting them themselves to do something. Shouldn't we do something about that? I think we should. I think the parents of that 18-year-old kid would want something done. 